Today we will be looking at Facebook Scringo release key hashes. And when you're sharing your Android apps or submitting to the Google Play Store, your application needs to be signed with a release key store. Up until now, we've been testing our apps in the emulator or the device using the deb debug key store. But we need to create this release key store uh, so we can share our apps on Google Play and with our friends through email, all that good stuff. But we also need this release key store so we can make this release key hash for Facebook login. And that's the main thing we need to get by the end of this tutorial. So let's get started. Let's create a new folder on our desktop and call it buzztouch underscore keystores. Now let's go to our Android project. And at this point, I'm going to assume that I want to export, under File, Export, my a Export Android application. And in your manifest, you'll want to set Debuggable to False when you're releasing to the App Store. Now we're going to create a new key store. Or we're going to browse for that on our desktop, that BuzzTouch key stores folder. Now I want to give this key store a name, and I'll just call it New Zurich, the name of my project. You can name it whatever you like. We need to give it a password. Confirm the password. And alias, you can fill this in whatever you like. I'm just going to call it New Zurich again. Put a password in here. I'm just using the same password. And you'll want to remember this password for later on. I'll get a, give it a validity of 100 years. You can make that whatever you like. And put my name in here. I'll hit Next. And now it says I'm going to save my APK file to my desktop. So I'm going to go ahead and click Finish and do that. And now remember what it's doing is this is the .apk file that can now be uploaded to the Google Play Store. But the main thing that we did was that we made that release key that's going to be very important for us to use. And right here on my desktop you, you can see this .apk file that we created. And this could be uploaded to Google Play right now. But first, let's get this Facebook login working with Scringo. So let's go to our Utilities folder and open up Terminal. Now I want to paste something in here. And I'll have the documentation for Mac and Windows so you guys can have all this stuff to copy and paste. And this line here is what you're going to paste into Terminal. But first, you'll want to, in this little section here where it says your key store name, I'm going to put in New Zurich, because that's the name of my key store. And you can see this is, the, this is where we saved that key store in our folder on our desktop. So you'll want to put your key store name in here. Now let's go ahead and copy that whole line. Let's paste it into Terminal. I'll hit Enter. And now it's asking for my key store password. And that's the same password that I was just using when I had Eclipse open. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in. And now we see that we've got our Facebook release key hash. So now what I'm going to do is now that I have this, I'm going to copy, copy this key hash, including the equal sign. Now I'm going to go to my Facebook developer account. And here's the link for that. I'm going to log in, and you can see I already have my 
Zurich app set up. If you don't have an app set up, you can just create a new app and get going and you'll have your app ID and all that good stuff. But what, what we're going to do is we're going to hit edit app. And down here under native Android app, we have key hashes. And you can see that I already have one key hash in here. And this is my debuggable key hash, which is only good for testing. What we need is another key hash for releasing to the Google Play Store. So I'm going to go to terminal. I'm going to recopy this. And I'm just going to paste it right alongside my debug key store. There, now I've just copied and pasted my release key store right there. Now I'll hit Save Changes. And that's all there is to it, guys. So now when your app is downloaded from the Google Play Store and they use Scringo, when they log in with Facebook, they'll be using the release key that you set here. And they'll be all good to go to use Facebook to log into Scringo. So hope that helps everyone. We'll see you soon. Thanks.